say, I'm getting out of here. We must get Her Majesty back to the control room. There they are. Make a way with them. We better rush them. No, they're heavily armed. We must get to the control room. Stand back from that door. What are you going to do? Melt it down with the disintegrator ray. Turn it on full power. I don't dare risk it. That will lose control. Oh, speed the machine. We move too slowly. on them until my forces are organized. You must come with me. To the mad world above, it would be a living death, a suffering far greater than the destiny which awaits me here. I shall die with my people. I can't leave you here. You must. I command. As for me, I am glad that it's being destroyed. It is better than an invasion from the surface world. 
The time is short. Go at once, or Frankie and Betsy, who are waiting above, will also be destroyed. a narrow escape, all right, Jean. But it was worth it. I learned a lot of new scientific things. I'm going back to Moraney someday and see what's left. I'm afraid there isn't very much left to the city. But we'll probably find enough radium to make us all rich. It's under our ranch property. Look, it's our junior Thunder Riders Club. And I got the sheriff with them. on that false murder charge. Not if I can help it. I've got some business with Professor Beetson and the rest of those scientists to attend to before risking a trip to jail. Good luck, Jean. Frankie! Betsy! Hey, Oscar! Beetson! We've been looking all over for you. We've had a terrible experience. Tell us about it. All the Morania was destroyed. Everybody was killed. I don't believe anything about this Morania business. Where's Gene Autry? <laughs> you mean Gene was killed too? <laughs> I'm sorry. I know how you feel. Perhaps it's just as well, and you had to arrest him for your father's murder. Maybe we'd better get back to the ranch. Come on, boys. <laughs> Something's gone wrong with this electroscope, or else there's been a terrific disturbance in the underground kingdom. What do you mean? The radium deposit we're after has moved 3,000 feet. 3,000 feet farther? I'm not turning another tap until I know how I cut in this deal. We're through until we know that we're going to get our share of the profits. And what makes you think you're going to share in the profits? You're getting salaries? All right. If you won't divide up, we're quitting. You're making a mistake, Beeson. It's 
Suppose they should tell the sheriff who killed Tom Baxter. They won't. The dirty double cross. We'd better get back to Radio Ranch before someone thinks we had something to do with this. Shot you. You might as well tell me. Uh, it was uh, 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 Suppose Gene don't get back in time for the broadcast. Then we'll lose the contract and Radio Ranch too. G E N E. That's him now. You wait here and keep your eyes open for the sheriff. Anything? One of the scientists killed Sharp. Are you sure? Absolutely sure in my own mind. And I'm certain that one of them killed your father. But I must have proof. Well, how are you going to get it? I'll slip out through the secret passage, get my horse, ride in in time for the broadcast. And while it's going on... Good afternoon, friends of Radio Ranch. We're on the air again, bringing you melodies from the Wild West. Introducing Gene Autry. <laughs> Before I go into a broadcast, folks, I've got a little information that I'm sure will be of interest to all of you. Some time ago, you had the unfortunate experience of being real ear witnesses to a real murder during one of our broadcasts. But our country, he's broadcasting. Today, while riding on the desert, he a wounded man about to die. But before he passed away, he told me who shot him. It was the same man that killed Tom Baxter. And his name is... Start playing! I dreamed I rode to heaven Sitting on a bale of hay I got off on the wrong side I could hear old Satan say Just come on back Come on back Come on back Come on back We have got a special window for you And as you saw So shall you read For the covers here are many liberties You're going back with me and tell him who killed Tom back. I don't know anything about it. You know plenty. Sharp told me everything before he died. Sure, I killed Tom Baxter. But how are you going to prove it? You'll never make the sheriff believe you didn't do it. I think you're wrong there, partner. <laughs> that is, if Frankie learned anything about television down in Murania. All right, get moving. Let's go. Well, that sure clears Gene. But how did you ever figure out this television thing? Well, I've been working on it for a long time. And all I've needed is this little gadget. And I brought it from the Morania that you wouldn't believe in. How long? 
long, long time ago, as all you folks should know, Uncle Noah built himself an ark for 40 days and nights. The rain was sure a fright. The animals nearly tore his ark apart. The horses and cattle and bottles of the air. Even the long-eared jackets was there. Quack! Whoop! They all said who? Yeah. All were there in Uncle Noah's ark. And that, folks, ends the last broadcast of the hectic season. I hope that the Junior Thunder Rider Club all over the country and their friends have enjoyed our broadcast. Because next year, we'll all be with you again. You can come up to Radio Ranch. We'll all go back to Murania with Frankie and Betsy. Radio Ranch signing off, wishing you all happiness and good luck. Dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-